I'm down here. I should be taken back in 15 minutes. We've been down here for what? Would you say 20 minutes? 30? With like half an hour? Yep, I have my beautiful gown on. I made sure to front or Dutch braid my hair. So. What'd you say? What kind of braid? Dutch braid. Oh, I think that Dutch French braid. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it didn't make sense. <laughs> no, I made sure to do these braids so my hair is out of the way and easy to take care of for the next day and a half or so. So, yep, I should be getting versed soon, which helps me calm down and I <laughs> appreciate it because it helps anxiety. And then I'll be taken back and having a Broviac placed on my left side of my chest and getting my pick line removed. So, Bye bye. So cozy. Hey. Do I need to take them off? No, 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 no. You're good. Haley's good, and you're getting the good stuff now, right? Yeah. We'll see how long it takes to kick in. See how long it. Yeah. See if you're feeling loopy. <laughs> you're, you're laughing already. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> uh. Haley, did you hear that? Doctor's asking if you have any jokes yet. Since, since, since you're so loopy. Joke person, if you had my brother in here, he would be going off with so many right, All right. now. Bye, love you. Love you. See you in a little bit. Who are you waving to? Oh, that's why you wanted the clip? Hey guys, true depiction of day after surgery. But it's the next day, the day after surgery. But I'm gonna tell you guys how yesterday went. So the surgery went really good. And I'll show you in a minute where they, where exactly they placed my Brobiac central line. Um, but first I'll kind of tell you of like waking up. So usually when I wake up, my parents, or one of my parents is right there waiting for me like usually they get them before I'm even like like I'm waking up out of anesthesia but I'm not like awake like opening my eyes yet but he wasn't there and part of this was my bad is that typically right after surgery I get one dose of a pain med like so I typically get like one dose of Dilaudid which is an opiate I believe so I get one dose of that but then after that dose I just go to Toradol and it was my bad that I didn't tell them so I woke up and I was in so much pain and my dad wasn't there and I was crying like I woke up crying and I've never reacted woken up crying from surgery so I don't know if I was reacting to the pain and my dad not being there when I was waking up or if it was reacting just how I was waking up from my anesthesia or a mixture of all three I don't know um but it was really kind of rough waking up my dad's opening the blinds um so yeah so it was rough so there's that one clip in the vlog of me waving and yeah I was having a hard time but the really good news is I did really good my body but the good news is I did really good. My body did really good. Um, my vitals were really good. My oxygen was at 100, which if you don't know, um, I had a surgery in April. I had sepsis, had to remove my port, and I had to be on oxygen for about a day and a half, two days after surgery because my lungs were having such a hard time. And I don't usually have lung problems, I will say that. But I'm really grateful it didn't happen this time and there was no complications and I'm just really grateful for that. Obviously I'm in a lot of pain. They went in my jugular, so with the central line. For example, the jugular you see, like I can move my arm from my elbow down without being in pain, but anything about that hurts. So that's how I'm able to move my hand. Um, but see that, that's a steri strip. And that's where they strung the line through. They started it through my jugular vein right there. 
all the way to, hold on, let me take the ice pack off, all the way to right here. So I'm guessing right there is about where they put it. And if you see that scar, that's where my port was. So you can see better the stereo strip right there and the dotted lines and you can see the X right there. And then I'll show you, I'll try to show you what, where my pick line was because they took my pick line out in surgery as well. This isn't going to be the most aesthetically pleasing angle, but I'm in pain. So I'll show you what, where my pick lines was, looks like, don't worry. So here it is. My phone's leaning against my computer, but it's a pressure, it's called pressure dressing. That was so not flattering, um, but that's what that looks like and we should be able to take it off honestly any time now. To, for my understanding, it has to be on 24 hours just to make sure it's all good and dandy. Um, and I'm getting closer, like my next pain med dose is in an hour, so that's why I'm getting more and more pain. It's probably like a seven and a half now out of 10 and I have a high pain tolerance, which is why I'm not screaming, but it hurts really, really bad. Um, but yeah, but we should be getting out of here after my next pain med dose and I'm so happy. And if you're like, whoa, Haley, don't you typically, don't you typically stay in the hospital for pain management for a few days after surgery? Um, and I used to, but because, well, not because, but this time, one, I'm on TPN at home, so I know I'm getting a adequate nutrition because usually when I get surgery, I go on I go on TPN like before and after surgery to give my gut a rest, but because I've been on it for a couple months now, um, we don't have to worry about staying in the hospital for that. We can do that at home and then I'm able to do pain management at home and yeah, and I have IV Sofran at home in case I get nauseous, which the only time I was nauseous was yesterday after surgery and that's really normal for me um, but I did sleep pretty much all day so I went in about 11 a.m. is when I went into the OR and it went good like I said it went good and it's so funny because I still have my mask on when I was being wheeled into the OR so once they got me on the surgical table um, <laughs> they were like, we're going to take your mask off. And I was like, oh, please take my mask off. And they all burst out laughing, which is funny. Um, just because we have to wear it so often right now. Then they put the oxygen mask on me and it smelled like grape. <laughs> and the next, and it took longer, like honestly, like three seconds longer than usual after the oxygen mask to go to sleep. But I did, and then I woke up, and it went good, so really grateful, and I'm really grateful I'm getting to go home today. I'm so grateful, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching this vlog. Um, thanks for watching with my crazy hair. This is just real life, and if you're like, what's on your eyebrow, the one I'm squinting? A giant pimple, so there's added real life to you for you. Um, but, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.